the Premier League, often referred to as the Barclays Premiership for sponsorship reasons, or as the Barclays English Premier League internationally, is a league competition for football clubs located at the top of the English Football League system, above the Football League, making it England's primary football competition. It is the world's most watched sporting league and the most lucrative football league. It is widely regarded as one of the best leagues in the world, along with Spain's La Liga and Italy's Serie A. The FA Premier League, as it was then known, was formed in 1992 from the clubs in the top division of the Football League, and is currently contested by 20 clubs. In a total of 14 seasons, the title has been won by only four teams, Arsenal, Blackburn Rovers, Chelsea and Manchester United. Of these, the most successful is Manchester United, who have won the title eight times and are the only team to have won the title three consecutive times. The current Premier League champions are Chelsea, who won their second consecutive title in the 2005-2006 season. The FA Women's Premier League, more specifically the national division, is the Premiership's female counterpart, as most of its clubs are affiliated with Premiership and Football League sides. However, the league is semi-professional and has a much lower profile than the men's game, even within its national boundaries. Section 1. History Origins For more details on this topic, see the article entitled History of English Football. The 1980s had marked a low point for English football. Stadiums were crumbling, supporters endured poor facilities, hooliganism was rife and English clubs were banned from European competition following the events at Heysel in 1985. The Football League First Division, which had been the top level of English football since 1888, was well behind foreign leagues such as Italy's Serie A and Spain's La Liga in attendances and revenues, and several top English players had moved abroad. However, by the turn of the 1990s, the downward trend was starting to reverse. England had been hugely successful in the 1990 FIFA World Cup, losing the semi-final on penalties. UEFA, European football's governing body, lifted the ban on English clubs playing in European competitions in 1990, and the Taylor Report on Stadium Safety Standards, which proposed expensive upgrades to all-seater stadiums, was published in January of that year. Television money had also become much more important. The Football League had received only £6.3 million for a two-year agreement in 1986, but when that deal was renewed in 1988, the price had risen to £44 million over four years. The 1988 negotiations were the first signs of a breakaway league. Ten clubs threatened to leave and form a Super League, but were eventually persuaded to stay. As stadiums improved and match attendance and revenues rose, the country's top teams again considered leaving the Football League in order to capitalise on the growing influx of money being pumped into the sport. Establishment The league held its first season in 1992-1993 and was originally composed of 22 clubs. The first ever Premiership goal was scored by Brian Dean against Manchester United in a 2-1 win for Sheffield United. Due to insistence by FIFA, the international governing body of football, that domestic leagues reduced the number of games clubs played, the number of clubs was reduced to 20 in 1995, when four teams were relegated from the league and only two teams were promoted. On the 8th of June 2006, FIFA requested that all major European leagues, including Italy's Serie A and Spain's La Liga, be reduced to 18 teams by the start of the 2007-2008 season. The Premier League responded by announcing their intention to resist such a reduction. The league changed its name from the FA Premier League to simply the Premier League on the 12th of February 2007. Section 2. Structure The Premier League is operated as a corporation that is owned by the 20 member clubs. Each club is considered a shareholder with one vote each on such issues as rule changes and contracts. The clubs elect a chairman, chief executive and board of directors to oversee the daily operations of the league. The Football Association is not directly involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the Premier League, but has veto power as a special shareholder during the election of the chairman and chief executive 
and when new rules are adopted by the league. The Premier League sends representatives to UEFA's European Club Forum, the number of clubs and the clubs themselves chosen according to UEFA coefficients. The European Club Forum is responsible for electing three members to UEFA's Club Competitions Committee, which is involved in the operations of UEFA competitions such as the Champions League and UEFA Cup. Section 3. Competition Format and Sponsorship Competition there are 20 clubs in the Premier League. During the course of the season, which lasts from August to May, each club plays the others twice, once at their home stadium and once at that of their opponents, for a total of 38 games for each club, with a total of 380 games in each season. Teams receive three points for a win and one point for a draw. No points are awarded for a loss. Teams are ranked by total points, then goal difference, and then goals scored. At the end of each season, the club with the most points is crowned as champion. If points are equal, the goal difference and goals scored then determine the winner. If still equal, they are deemed to occupy the same position. If the champions, teams for relegation or qualification for other competitions thus cannot be decided, a series of playoff matches are played between the affected teams at neutral venues. This is yet to occur. The three lowest placed teams are relegated into the Football League Championship and the top two teams from the Championship, together with the winner of playoffs involving the third to sixth place Championship clubs, are promoted in their place. Qualification for European competitions The top four teams in the Premiership qualify for the UEFA Champions League with the top two teams directly entering the group phase. The third and fourth placed teams enter the competition at the third qualifying round and must win a two-legged knockout tie in order to enter the group phase. The fifth placed team automatically qualifies for the UEFA Cup and the sixth and seventh placed teams can also qualify depending on what happens in the two domestic cup competitions. If the FA Cup champions and runners-up both finish in the top five of the Premier League, the FA Cup's UEFA Cup spot goes to the sixth placed team in the league. If the League Cup is won by a team that has already qualified for Europe, the League Cup's UEFA Cup spot also goes to the next highest placed team in the league. Unlike the FA Cup spot, it is never transferred to the losing finalist. The highest placed team that has not qualified for the UEFA Cup is allowed the opportunity to compete in the UEFA Intertoto Cup, the winner of which is automatically entered into the UEFA Cup. The Premiership is third in the UEFA rankings of European leagues based on their performances in European competitions over a five-year period, behind Spain's La Liga and Italy's Serie A. Sponsorship Since 1993, the Premier League has been sponsored. The sponsor has been able to determine the league's sponsorship name. So far, all sponsors have referred to the competition as the Premiership. This list details who the sponsors have been and what they called the competition. 1993 to 2001, Carling, FA Carling Premiership. 2001 to 2004, Barclay Card, Barclay Card Premiership. 2004 to 2010, Barclays, Barclays Premiership. Section 4, Finances. The Premiership boasts some of the best players in the world, including many from outside England. The Premier League is the most lucrative football league in the world, with total club revenues of over £1.3 billion in 2004 2005, according to Deloitte, more than 40% above its nearest competitor, Italy's Serie A. Revenues will increase substantially by the 2007 2008 season, when new media rights deals start. Based on January 2007 exchange rates, £1.3 billion converts to annual league revenues of about US$2.51 billion. US dollars. This figure is the fourth highest for any sports league worldwide, behind the annual revenues of the three most popular North American major sports leagues, the National Football League, Major League Baseball and the National Basketball Association, but slightly ahead of the National Hockey League. Considering that the Premier League has only 20 clubs, and depending on exchange rates and what is defined as revenue, the Premier League's average per team revenues are very close to, and could be ranked ahead of, the NBA's. 
the 2005-2006 average attendance of 33,875 for league matches is the fourth highest of any domestic professional sports league in the world, ahead of Serie A and La Liga, but behind the German Bundesliga. This represents an increase of over 60% from the average attendance of 21,126 recorded in the league's first season, 1992-1993. However, during the 1992-1993 season, the capacities of most stadiums were reduced as clubs replaced terraces with seats in order to meet the Taylor Report's 1994-1995 deadline for all-seater stadiums. The 2005-2006 figure is lower than the Premier League's record average attendance of 35,464 set during the 2002-2003 season. Section 5 media coverage. England. Television has played a major role in the history of the Premier League. The money from television rights has been vital in helping to create excellence both on and off the field. The league's decision to assign broadcasting rights to B Sky B in 1992 was at the time a radical decision, but one that has paid off. At the time, pay television was an almost untested proposition in the UK market as was charging fans to watch live televised football. However, a combination of Sky's marketing strategy, the quality of Premier League football, and the public's appetite for the game has seen the value of the Premier League's TV rights soar. It also saw the creation of regularly scheduled games on Sundays and Mondays, taking a page from the National Football League's Sunday night and Monday night games. In both cases, the featured TV games are normally the only ones played at that time. The Premier League sells its television rights on a collective basis. This is in contrast to some European leagues, including Serie A and La Liga, in which each club sells its rights individually, leading to a much higher share of the total income going to the top few clubs. The money is divided into three parts. Half is divided equally between the clubs. One quarter is awarded on a merit basis based on final league position, the top club getting 20 times as much as the bottom club and equal steps all the way down the table. The final quarter is paid out as facilities fees for games that are shown on television, with the top clubs receiving the largest shares of this. The income from overseas rights is divided equally between the 20 clubs. The first Sky Television Rights Agreement was worth £191 million over five seasons. The next contract, negotiated to start from the 1997-1998 season, rose to £670 million over four seasons. The Premier League's current £1.024 billion deal with B Sky B runs over the course of three seasons from August 2004. The league brought in £320 million from the sale of its international rights for the three-year period from 2004-2005 to 2006-2007. It sold the rights itself on a territory-by-territory -territory basis. Sky's monopoly was broken from August 2006 when Setanta Sports was awarded rights to show two out of the six packages of matches available. This occurred following an insistence by the European Commission that exclusive rights should not be sold to one television company. Sky and Setanta paid a total of £1.7 billion, a two-thirds increase which took many commentators by surprise, as it had been widely assumed that the value of the rights had levelled off following many years of rapid growth. The BBC has retained the rights to show highlights for the same three seasons on Match of the Day for £171.6 million, a 63% increase on £105 million it paid for the previous three-year period. Sky and BT have agreed to jointly pay £84.3 million for delayed television rights to 242 games, that is, the right to broadcast them in full on television and over the internet in most cases for a period of 50 hours after 10pm on a match day. Overseas television rights fetched £625 million, nearly double the previous contract, and there was also a smaller deal for mobile phone rights. The total raised from these deals is more than £2.7 billion, giving Premiership clubs an average media income from league games of £45 million a year from 2007 to 2010. They also receive smaller amounts from media rights for the domestic cups, and in some cases substantial amounts from media rights for European matches. 
The TV rights agreement between the Premier League and Sky has faced accusations of being a cartel, and a number of court cases have arisen as a result. An investigation by the Office of Fair Trading in 2002 found B-Sky B to be dominant within the pay TV sports market, but concluded that there were insufficient grounds for the claim that B-Sky B had abused its dominant position. In July 1999, the Premier League's method of selling rights collectively for all member clubs was investigated by the UK Restrictive Practices Court, who concluded that the agreement was not contrary to the public interest. Worldwide Promoted as the greatest show on earth, the Premier League is the world's most popular and most watched sporting league, followed worldwide by over a billion people. It is widely watched overseas, with matches being shown in 195 countries, generally on networks owned and or controlled by News Corp, which owns B-Sky B and thus the primary UK and Ireland TV rights. News Corp has purchased ad space at some Premier League stadiums to promote Fox Soccer Channel, which is the company's US broadcaster. As in Britain, the rights are shared with Satanta Sport. The Premier League is particularly popular in Asia, where it is the most widely distributed sports programme. In the People's Republic of China, matches attract television audiences between 100 million and 360 million, more than any other foreign sport. Due to this popularity, the league has held two pre-season tournaments in Asia, the only Premier League affiliated tournaments ever to have been held outside England. In July 2003, the Asian Cup was held in Malaysia, featuring three Premiership clubs and the Malaysia national team. In 2005, the Asia Trophy featured a similar format, held in Thailand and featuring the Thailand national team competing against three English clubs, Everton, Manchester City and Bolton Wanderers the latter of whom won the trophy. Radio coverage of the Premier League can also be heard in the United States on Sirius Satellite Radio. The FA has faced difficulty fighting internet copyright infringement. In an effort to stop the broadcasting of streams of live games on the net, they have hired NetResult, a company that specialises on protecting trademark rights online. Although NetResult has cut down the number of sites offering free streams, some see their actions as heavy-handed. The British Broadcasting Corporation reported that net results on behalf of the Premier League emailed an official DMCA warning to the website www.footyclips.com, an independent site that links to YouTube videos, that forced its temporary closure. Section 6. Players At the inception of the Premier League in 1992-1993, just 11 players named in the starting lineups for the first round of matches were foreign, players hailing from outside of the United Kingdom or Republic of Ireland. By 2000-2001, the number of foreign players participating in the Premiership was 36%. In the 2004-2005 season, the figure had increased to 45%. On the 26th of December 1999, Chelsea became the first Premier League side to field an entirely foreign starting lineup. And on the 14th of February 2005, Arsenal were the first to name a completely foreign 16-man squad for a match. Despite being an English competition, no English manager has ever actually won the Premier League. Only four different managers have won the title as of 2006. Two Scots, Sir Alex Ferguson, Manchester United, and Kenny Dalglish, Blackburn Rovers. A Frenchman, Arsene Wenger, Arsenal. And a Portuguese, Jose Mourinho, Chelsea. Two English managers have achieved second place in the Premiership. They are Ron Atkinson, Aston Villa in 1993, and Kevin Keegan, Newcastle United in 1996. Over 260 foreign players compete in the league, and 101 players from England's domestic leagues competed in the 2002 FIFA World Cup in Korea and Japan. At the 2006 World Cup, the Premier League was the most represented league, with more than 80 players in the competition including 21 of the 23 players in England's squad. As a result of the increasingly lucrative television deals, player wages rose sharply following the formation of the Premier League. In the first Premier League season, the average player wage was £75,000 per year, but subsequently rose by an average 20% per year for a decade, peaking in the 2003-2004 season, when the annual salary of the average Premier League player was £900,000. 
transfer records. The first few seasons of the Premier League saw the record transfer fee paid by English clubs broken almost every season, a practice that resumed in the first few years of the 21st century. £3.75 million in June 1993, Roy Keane, Nottingham Forest to Manchester United. £5 million in July 1994, Chris Sutton, Norwich City to Blackburn Rovers. £7 million in January 1995, Andy Cole, Newcastle United to Manchester United. £7.5 million in June 1995, Dennis Bergkamp, Inter Milan to Arsenal. £8.5 million in July 1995, Stan Collymore, Nottingham Forest to Liverpool. £15 million, world record, in July 1996, Alan Shearer, Blackburn Rovers to Newcastle United. £18 million in November 2000, Rio Ferdinand, West Ham to Leeds United. £19 million in May 2001, Ruud van Nistelrooy, PSV Eindhoven to Manchester United. £28.1 million in July 2001, Juan Sebastián Verón, Lazio to Manchester United. £29 million in July 2002, Rio Ferdinand, Leeds United to Manchester United. Thirty to fifty-six million pounds in June two thousand and six. Andrei Shevchenko, AC Milan to Chelsea. None of the first five transfer records lasted more than one year. Dennis Bergkamp's lasted a mere month. Alan Shearer's fifteen million pound record lasted nearly five years in England, although his worldwide record was broken within a year. Rio Ferdinand's record lasted nearly four years before it was marginally broken in 2006 by the summer transfer of Andrei Shevchenko from AC Milan to Chelsea for an unknown figure between £30 and £56 million. The creation of the Premier League, therefore, has seen the record fee paid by English clubs broken 11 times in under 15 years. Section 7. Premiership Football League Gulf. The main article for this section is entitled Premiership Football League Gulf. Since its split with the Football League, many established clubs in the Premier League have managed to distance themselves from their counterparts in lower leagues. Owing in large part to the disparity in revenue from television rights between the leagues, many newly promoted teams have found it difficult to avoid relegation in their first season in the Premier League. In every season except 2001-2002, at least one Premier League newcomer has been relegated back to the Football League. In 1997-1998, all three promoted clubs were relegated at the end of the season. The Premier League distributes a small proportion of its television revenue to clubs that are relegated from the league in the form of parachute payments. Starting with the 2006-2007 season, these payments are in the amount of £6.5 million over the club's first two seasons in lower leagues. Though designed to help teams adjust to the loss of television revenues, the average Premier League team receives £28 million, while the average Football League Championship club receives £1 million, critics maintain that the payments actually widen the gap between teams that have reached the Premiership and those that have not leading to the common occurrence of teams bouncing back soon after their relegation. If a team has bounced back, they are generally said to have bounce back ability, a term commonly used by football fans and created by the then Crystal Palace manager Ian Dowie. Some teams get promoted and relegated so often they are referred to as yo-yo teams. Section 8 Premier League Clubs Premier League Champions for a list of winners and runners-up of the Premier League since its inception, and top scorers for each season, refer to the article English Football Champions. Current Premier League Members The following 20 clubs will compete in the Premier League during the 2006-2007 season. Arsenal Finishing position in 2005-2006, fourth. First season in top division, 1904-1905 First season of current spell in top division, 1919-1920 Aston Villa Finishing position in 
2006, 16th. First season in top division, 1888-1889. First season of current spell in top division, 1988-1989. Blackburn Rovers. Finishing position in 2005-2006, sixth. First season in top division, 1888-1889. First season of current spell in top division, 2001-2002. Bolton Wanderers. Finishing position in 2005-2006, eighth. First season in top division, 1888-1889. First season of current spell in top division, 2001-2002. Charlton Athletic, finishing position in 2005-2006, 13th. First season in top division, 1936-1937. First season of current spell in top division, 2000-2001. Chelsea, finishing position in 2005-2006, 1st. First season in top division, 1907-1908. First season of current spell in top division, 1989-1990. Everton. Finishing position in 2005-2006, 11th. First season in top division, 1888-1889. First season of current spell in top division, 1954-1955. Fulham. Finishing position in 2005-2006, 12th. First season in top division, 1949-1950. First season of current spell in top division, 2001-2002. Liverpool. Finishing position in 2005-2006, third. First season in top division, 1894-1895. First season of current spell in top division, 1962-1963. Manchester City. Finishing position in 2005-2006, 15th. First season in top division, 1899-1900. First season of current spell in top division, 2002-2003. Manchester United. Finishing position in 2005-2006, second. First season in top division, 1892-1893. First season of current spell in top division, 1975-1976. Middlesbrough. Finishing position in 2005-2006, 14th. First season in top division, 1902-1903. First season of current spell in top division, 1998-1999. Newcastle United. Finishing position in 2005-2006, 7th. First season in top division, 1898-1899. First season of current spell in top division, 1993-1994. Portsmouth. Finishing position in 2005-2006, 17th. First season in top division, 1927-1928. First season of current spell in top division, 2003-2004. Reading. Finishing position in 2005-2006, first in the championship. First season in top division, 2006-2007. First season of current spell in top division, 2006-2007. Sheffield United, finishing position in 2005-2006, second in the championship. First season in top division, 1893-1894. First season of current spell in top division, 2006-2007. Tottenham Hotspur, finishing position in 2005-2006, fifth. First season in top division, 1909-1910. First season of current spell in top division, 1978-1979. Watford. Finishing position in 2005-2006, third in the championship, promoted after winning playoff. First season in top division, 1982-1983. First season in current spell of top division, 2006-2007. West Ham United. Finishing position in 2005-2006, ninth. First season in top division, 1923-1924. First season of current spell in top division, 2005-2006. Wigan Athletic. Finishing position in 2005-2006, 10th. First season in top division, 2005-2006. First season of current spell in top division, 2005-2006.
former Premier League members. A total of 40 clubs have played in the Premier League between 1992 and 2006. Two other clubs were signatories to the original agreement that created the Premier League, but were relegated prior to the inaugural Premiership season and have never returned to the top flight. For a list of all clubs, past and present, see the article entitled List of FA Premier League Clubs. Seven clubs have been members of the Premiership for every season, 15, since its inception. This elite group includes Arsenal, Aston Villa, Chelsea, Everton, Liverpool, Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. Newcastle United has the next longest streak at 14 seasons since being promoted to the Premier League in 1993. Section 9. Top Scorers Former Blackburn Rovers and Newcastle United striker Alan Shearer holds the record for most Premiership goals with 260. Shearer finished among the top 10 goal scorers in 10 out of his 14 seasons in the Premier League and won the top scorer title three times. Since the first Premier League season in 1992-1993, 11 different players have won or shared the top scorer's title. Thierry Henry won his third consecutive and fourth overall title by scoring 27 goals in the 2005-2006 season. This surpassed Shearer's mark of three titles, which he won consecutively from 1994-1995 through 1996-1997. Other multiple winners include Michael Owen and Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, who have won two titles each. Shearer and Andy Cole hold the record for most goals in a season, 34, which they scored in seasons that lasted 42 rather than 38 games. Shearer's mark of 31 goals in 1995-1996 is the highest total in a 38-game season. Manchester United became the first team to have scored 1,000 goals in this league after Cristiano Ronaldo scored in a 4-1 defeat by Middlesbrough in the 2005-2006 season, having been the first team to have conceded a Premiership goal following the league's inception. Manchester United are still the only club to have scored 1,000 goals. All-time top scorers in the Premier League, as of 25th of February 2007. Please note, these are just for the Premiership. First place, Alan Shearer, 260 goals. Second place, Andy Cole, 188 goals. Third place, Thierry Henry, 174 goals. Fourth place, Robbie Fowler, 162 goals. Fifth place, Bez Ferdinand, 149 goals. Sixth place, Teddy Sheringham, 147 goals. Seventh place, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, 127 goals. Eighth place, Michael Owen, 125 goals. Ninth place, Dwight York, 122 goals. Tenth place, Ian Wright, 113 goals. Andy Cole, Thierry Henry, Robbie Fowler, Teddy Sheringham, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank and Michael Owen are players still in the Premier League. Dwight York is still in English football but plays for Championship side Sunderland.